welcome to Credence Digital Learning. I am your English teacher, Asta Jain, and we are discussing the syllabus of class 12. And today we are going to start with section A, that is reading comprehension. I know all of you know what reading comprehension actually is. But do you know that reading comprehension is the most scoring portion of your English paper? Why? Because it is the only portion where you can easily score full marks, 20 out of 20. Why? Because there are lesser chances of grammatical errors. When we write writing skills or literature, there are some kuch kuch grammatic errors. But in writing, mein, you can not score full marks, nor you can score full marks in literature, but that can be done in reading section. But reading section ke passages are very new. At that time, we don't have to answer the answer. And practice bhi kare, kare? Hai, ki we don't know that the day is going to come. Because we don't know that the question so let us understand the basic tips and tricks which you should know to score full marks in reading section. Is that possible? Yes, that is definitely possible. First, let us understand what kinds of passages are asked in exam. We basically have two kinds of passages, traditional and modern. Traditional passages, wo passages hote hain wherein you get easy answers to the questions directly from the passage. आपने क्वेश्चन पढ़ा पैसेज पढ़ा एज इट इज लाइन को उठाया और क्वेश्चन की जगह आंसर में लिख दिया एंड यू गेट फुल मार्क्स प्रीवियसली सीबीएसई यूज्ड टू गिव ट्रेडिशनल पैसेजेस टू चिल्ड्रन बट नाउ दे हैव अंडरस्टूड क्वाइट वेल कि बच्चे ट्रेडिशनल पैसेजेस को तो बहुत इजीली सॉल्व कर लेते हैं तो नाउ दे हैव शिफ्टेड टू मॉडर्न पैसेजेस इफ यू सी योर सिलेबस और योर पेपर पैटर्न यू विल सी दीस टर्म्स लाइक डिस्कर्सिव एंड केस बेस्ड फैक्चुअल पैसेज अब ये क्या वाला है इसका तो हमने कभी नाम ही नहीं सुना सी डिस्कर्सिव पैसेजेस आर दोज पैसेजेस विच डाइग्रेस फ्रॉम द मेन प्लॉट एवरी नाउ एंड देन जो बहुत ही सिंपल नहीं होते एक टॉपिक से स्टार्ट करके यहां वहां दूसरी जगह भी ब्रांचेस में चले जाते हैं ऑन द अदर हैंड केस बेस्ड फैक्चुअल पैसेजेस आर दोज पैसेजेस वेर इन दे विल गिव यू थिंग्स लाइक अ लाइन ग्राफ अ पाई चार्ट or something of that sort wherein you have to read that chart or graph or histogram whatever they are giving and you have to reach to a conclusion. So now in your examination question papers you will see modern passages which includes discursive passages and case based factual passage. Now these are very complicated passages. How do you solve them? So let's learn the tips and tricks to solve these kinds of passages. Now that we have got to know about the kinds of passages which are basically of two types, discursive passages and case-based factual study, let's understand how to solve a passage. So basically we have to follow two simple steps while solving a passage and that is understanding and using some common sense. Now what is this understanding? It simply says that read the passage and try to know the central idea. So the first step that you should follow is that you should go through the passage and you should just try to understand what is the central idea or the theme of the passage rather than trying to cram what is there. Once you have understood the theme, you will find it quite easy to answer the questions. If you remember the first line of the question of your unseen passage, it always says on the basis of your understanding of the passage. So, maybe you are understanding that CBSE is stressing on understanding or your comprehension skills. So, please understand the passage and divide the passage into four to five parts as per your convenience. For example, if your passage is regarding a disease, say diabetes. Obviously, the passage can be divided into three, four sections like the introduction, the causes, the symptoms, the prevention and the cure. So, in this way, when you divide your passage into small, small units, you will find it easier to locate the answers. And the second step is read the question while focusing on passage. You should read the question and then you should try to relate that the answer to that question can be extracted from which portion of the passage. Also use some common sense or some guessing activity. How this common sense can be used and what is the benefit? You should use your common sense to eliminate the wrong options. See children, for class 12th, the unseen passages are not going to be so easy. You will feel as if all the four options are correct. 
जैसे जब हम छोटी क्लासेस में पढ़ते हैं तो ऐसा होता है कि तीन ऑप्शन बिल्कुल गलत होते हैं और एक सही होता है तो इट्स क्वाइट ईजी फॉर एनी वन टू फाइंड द करेक्ट आंसर बट फॉर हायर क्लासेस ऑल द फोर ऑप्शन आर करेक्ट सो यू हैव टू चूज द बेस्ट आउट ऑफ द फोर इसीलिए यू कैन डू द प्रोसेस ऑफ एलिमिनेशन वेयर इन यू कैन कट दो ऑप्शन विच अपियर टू बी टोटली रॉन्ग सो दिस वॉज रिगार्डिंग द थियोरेटिकल आस्पेक्ट ऑफ रीडिंग कॉम्प्रीहेंशन नाउ वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू सॉल्व एन अनसीन पैसेज विथ अ लाइव एग्जाम्पल सो यू विल सी अ पैसेज ऑन योर स्क्रीन काइंडली गो थ्रू द पैसेज लिसन टू वॉट आई एम टेलिंग एंड वी विल ट्राई टू लोकेट द आंसर्स example which is going to be of a discursive passage you will see a passage displayed on your screen kindly go through the passage initially i'll explain the meaning of the passage line by line and then you will find it quite easy to understand the passage and answer the questions so let's begin and remember this passage was asked in cbsc exam question paper the choices we make on a daily basis wearing a seat belt lifting heavy objects correctly or purposely staying out of any dangerous situation can either ensure our safety or bring about potentially harmful circumstances so in this line please underline the choices 